MMA Fight Corner. Uh, guys, real quick, I want to spend some time briefly talking about uh, Lion Fight 13. We're going to get to more of this later on in the program as well as cover uh, the rest of UFC 169 here on the Fight Corner. But, uh, Scott, thanks for coming into studio with us. Now, give us just kind of, uh, you know, a 10,000-foot view here of Lion Fight 13. It's coming up this Friday from the Hard Rock. What else can you tell us right now? Well, it's another historic event. It's uh, We have the first ladies' main event. Very happy about that, um, by yay. the way, Scott. Thank you. Know, you. And, and, and now that uh, women's fighting is fashionable, I, I have to reiterate that we've done 12 fights and we've had a ladies' uh, pro bout on every card and an amateur bout, and that's really Christine Toledo's you know, She's money. She is as gold. a former yeah. Muay Thai champion, and we've, we, you know, we've held firm to that. And now we're starting to see with fighters like Tiffany Van Soost, we're really starting to see that she's such a fan favorite that it really made, really was a wise move back then. With with Tiffany Van Soos in this fight taking on Kaylee Reese, uh, you know every opponent that Van Soos ha- has faced coming into it, you know it seemed like there was going to be a legitimate challenge, a threat, and that she could get tested. And she's just demolished them all. Does Reese have the skills to do the job this time? Reese is legitimate. She's a three time world champion. This will by far be Tiffany's toughest toughest test. Me the most. Yeah. Well, Dave, you, you mentioned, you know, if Frank steps away from fighting, will Scott be interested in, in signing, you know, a former UFC heavyweight to fight <laughs> Muay Thai? But actually, uh, Pat Barry, former K-1 fighter, UFC f- heavyweight, retired from MMA, not to retire from fighting. He just said he doesn't like wrestling. He doesn't like grappling. He's a kickboxer. He wants to get back to punching people in the face. So is this a heavyweight prospect you might have your eye on? You know, it's interesting. Somebody contacted me last week about <laughs> yeah. uh, about uh, about Pat and and another individual that kind of surprised me. You know, and we've always heard over the years that unfortunately Muay Thai has lost all their best fighters to MMA. But what we're starting to see now is, as Lion Fight has grown, we're starting to see a lot of those people who are Muay Thai purists and Muay Thai fighters that want to stick with one particular discipline. So it's it's good for us. You're going to have to fight for Pat, though. I read this morning that he signed with Glory. Oh, he so, did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good for kudos. So he's going to have a fight yeah. coming up. All right, I, I'm going to put you on the spot, though. Who was the other guy? Uh, I can't say. Give me yeah. a clue. I can't <laughs> even give you a clue. It no, rhymes it. with. Yeah, that's uh, what I want. Give me a clue. Remember, remember, we had Chris Cyborg who fought yeah, down absolutely. now. The she, baddest woman on the planet. Is she returning anytime? She's, we'll have an announcement soon. Ah, uh, <laughs> Scott Kent. Lion Fight 13. Yes, Lion Fight 13 is coming up. This Friday, February 7th from where else? The Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. And Scott the Hard Rock has been such a valuable partner for Lion Fight Promotions. Talk to us a little bit about Hard Rock Hotel and, and what they do to support what you guys are doing at Lion Fight. Sure. Well, the, the Hard Rock really made a commitment to us to say, let's, we really like what you're doing. We don't want this to be a kind of a pedestrian filler event for us. We want to make sure we get behind you and build it. So in the casino business, you have casino marketing. You've got their uh, uh, media marketing. Everybody needs to get behind it. And they've been a great partner to us. And the joint, you know, there's not a better venue in Las Vegas than the joint. So it's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. Well, it's it's really, really great stuff here for uh, the fans of Muay Thai, the fans of any fighting in Las Vegas, because they get to come out here and, and see some amazing fights at really pretty decent prices, too. And we're going to give away some tickets on Friday. We were able to get some from Scott today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get those through our promotions department. We'll give some away on Friday's show. We'll be on a little bit early, I think, and then uh, folks will be able to pick up the tickets. Uh, come on down there to the fights. Now, let's start off here, Scott, and talk about some of the fights that we have going on on Line Fight 13, because... There's some title implications here. One of your best fighters, Tiffany Van Soost. I mean, I tell you what, a little Tasmanian devil of a fighter. She is an amazing, amazing fighter to watch. Is going to be going up against Kaylee Reese. Now, Kaylee Reese, you were telling us here in the break, a three-time WMC champion coming out of retirement, Scott, to take this fight with Tiffany. Tell us how that came about. Well, our matchmaker, Christine, was able to uh, get a hold of Kaylee. And even though she had recently retired, uh, we essentially made her an offer she couldn't refuse. You, know, <laughs> you come to Vegas, yeah. and you know she she said she's always wanted to fight for Lion Fight, and to be able to fight the the rising American star, the wrecking ball, the you know the time bomb Tiffany, uh, just made perfect sense for us. She was very motivated. She trained in Thailand for this fight, and it will be Tiffany's biggest challenge by far. And this will be her second title defense. What do you see about uh, Reese from a matchmaking standpoint that would really make her test Tiffany? Well, she's a traditional Muay Thai fighter. Uh, 
meaning essentially that she can control the distance a lot better than maybe some of Tiffany's previous opponents. Uh, she's very good with the knees. She's very good with her kicks. And I think Tiffany has been able to overpower a lot of her opponents. I think it's going to be more difficult for her to do that with Kaylee Reese. Plus, you throw in her experience level, and, and it's uh, uh, there's a significant difference. And, and, and I'll tell you what, this is a great stylistic matchup because uh, Kaylee is that traditional style, you know, she, more weight on that back leg, lifting that lead leg, throwing teeps off that lead kicks, and using kicks usually to get in to engage in the boxing and then working to the clinch game. Whereas Tiffany, she's much more light on her toes. She explodes with boxing first. You know, It's similar to a Dutch style. You don't want to call it Dutch style, but it's more, it's, it's more similar to that kind of style. So stylistically, this is just two contrasting styles of tie boxing meeting. And when that happens, it always delivers. The fans are the ones who win. And I'm just so excited to watch this fight. Yeah, and then you have uh, Kevin Ross, of course, Matt Embry, the rematch. Uh, how excited do you think the fans will be to see this one? You know, we're, we're getting so much positive feedback about that. We do fan polls on our website and, and ask the fans to weigh in who they think are going to win the fight. And and uh, Kevin Ross has always been a fan favorite. Uh, I think Kevin realized he made some technical mistakes in, in the initial fight. Uh, he's uh, everybody who's going to remedy that. Uh, Kevin is a cardio machine, and I think... Both he and Kevin are pretty much committed that they're going to make this just an all-out war. So that's what we expect. Well, in in the first, you know, Embry coming into this fight, in all his fights, he's more of a defensive fighter. He's more of a counter puncher. You know, he likes to attack off of your attacks. Um, and Kevin Ross is a quick, light, explosive fighter. He's so fast. He has such phenomenal boxing for a tie boxer, and he mixes his elbows in with his boxing so well. In the last fight. Because of Embry's style, Kevin was tentative early. He didn't want to engage. He kind of was trying to play this, you know, waiting game back and counter the counter maybe. And he was losing that fight. He gave up the first three rounds or the first two and a half, two and three quarters of the first three rounds. Halfway through that third round towards the end, he comes alive. Fourth and fifth round, he looks like the Kevin Ross we, 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 we know and love, the Las Vegas-born Kevin Ross who grew up fighting here, you know. And he, he puts on a show. Kevin needs to show up like that in rounds one, two, and three, and this is his fight all day. Well, we were at the Hard Rock Hotel before that fight, Kevin Ross and Matt Embry. That was a line fight 11, uh, and we were talking to Kevin before the fight, and, and he'd kind of he'd kind of taken a somewhat flippant stance on on fighting Matt. He, he didn't take the opponent as seriously, if I recall, as maybe now in retrospect he wishes that he had because I remember him being very nonplussed by the fighting style of Matt Embry, didn't really feel uh, that he posed much of a threat to him style. Realistically. So, again, with this now being a rematch, Kevin, like uh, like Joey says, he really started to figure out during the end of that fight, I better come alive. And this will be highlights, uh, you know, I mean, from the beginning. And, and more on these fights can be found on your website as well, Scott. You brought it up, lionfightpromotions.com. Uh, now, looking down here as well, there's another Las Vegas guy uh, that's going to be fighting on here. Jason Andrade is going to be fighting Andy Singh. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this fight. How did this one come together, Scott? Um, Andy Singh fought uh, a guy named Anthony Castrion, one of our local fighters, and dominated him in a fight. Um, we, we we signed Jason Andrade to a multi-fight deal. He's won four in a row, his pro debut. He's won every fight. He's a, a fan favorite. People love this guy. Uh, he's a character in the ring. He's very exciting. And I think stylistically, this has a lot of those similarities. Jason is kind of a no-holds-barred guy. He's going to come after you. Um, whereas um, Andy Singh will lay back, and he's more of a counter puncher. He'll do the teeps to keep it, uh, to keep the distance in the fight, but it's going to be uh, a lot of fireworks. Now, is Andy still undefeated? I yeah. believe he was. So this is two guys that are undefeated Absolutely. facing off. That's excellent. And Jason, I believe, like you said, he's quite a character. I think that if he weren't fighting Muay Thai, he'd probably be a hot dog uh, eating <laughs> contest champion. <laughs> he had actually said that that was his idol, uh, Joey Chestnut. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were going to say that. He has a tattoo that. of a hot dog. Yeah, right that's, of, yeah, that's right. Chest. I didn't realize that's what it was. Now I understand. <laughs> he he All right. explained that to me uh, at the you last didn't line. Realize I, what I it thought was. he was a different oh, kind my. of guy. That's hey, okay. Hey, do you? you. Know? Brock Lesnar has one on his chest. That's right. And you know what? I'm not stepping in the ring with either of those guys. Let me tell you what. All right. Now let's talk about another fight here, Scott, that, that is actually, this thing has got some really high stakes. You have got Coke Chenowat fighting Ronnie Ibrahim. And if I mispronounce those names, I apologize. Uh, Coke and Ronnie have fought before. This fight, however, is a winner take all. One guy wins, gets paid. The other guy loses, gets nada. Explain how they agreed to do this. 
Well, uh, Coke won the first fight, and uh, Rami wanted – he felt like he should have won the fight, so they started this – Social media battle back and forth, and and uh, we were the first promotion to do this. We did this with uh, Joe, Joe Schilling, Schilling. Yeah. Joe Schilling, and Simon Marcus. And I, I at the time, I asked Keith Kaiser. I said, "We want to do a winner take all." And he goes, "We've never done one of those since he'd been in the commission." <laughs> so we had to go through the process of doing that. But uh, these guys both feel uh, very confident in their abilities, and you know, everybody talks about well, they ought to make a winner take all fight. Well, we're doing it. This is our second one, and both guys have agreed to put up their purses. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you also have on here Nick Chastain, and I had the pleasure of being able to speak with him ahead of the last line fight, and he's another guy that spent a lot of time on the amateur level before going pro. Have you got your eye on him as far as maybe We've making... We've signed him. You, you we, we've already hey, done that. Yeah, Snooze you lose in this business. <laughs> we uh, signed Nick. He's the golden boy. He's yep. the most highly decorated amateur in the history of American Muay Thai. He's fully committed to us and uh, won his first fight in just a barn burner. Took a kick to the head that would have knocked most guys out. Came back and won the fight. So he's a battler. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Lion Fight 13, I, this is going to be one of the ones that's going to go down in the history books for Lion Fight. Tiffany Van Soost is going to be taking on Kaylee Reese. I mean, this is going to be some really exceptional stuff. All of it is going to be coming to us from Access TV. You still have a chance to get some tickets to see Kevin Ross fight Matt Embry this upcoming Friday night. Uh, go to Ticketmaster.com or to the Hard Rock box office and pick up your tickets for Lion Fight 13. Now, Kevin and Matt are going to be fighting in the co-main event. Uh, we're going to have this thing headlined by Tiffany Van Soost and Kaylee Reese. Now, there's also a couple of other fights on here. We hadn't talked about Josh Shepard fighting Daniel Kim. Scott, tell us a little bit about that fight as well. Sure. Josh is a, another Vegas yeah. fighter uh, out of One Kicks Gym. Uh, technically very strong fighter. He fought on our, our card downtown on Fremont Street. Uh, undefeated fighter. We're, we're thrilled to have him fighting for us and... Uh, um, Daniel Kim's coming from California. Very, very tough guy. It's going to be a good test for for Josh. And Josh has been in some really good fights for us. Yeah, that one against, um, was it early? At Lion Fight 8, that was Damian a majority Irwin. decision, yeah. and the, both of them, like you were talking about the whole Jamie Varner thing, they were both just going at it the whole way. There was nothing that I don't think any aspect of the eight limbs that wasn't going on in that fight. <laughs> they might have thrown in a few more limbs. Yeah, you might have yeah. seen a couple, yeah. Oh, that's great. Hey, by the way, you know, just a real quick shout-out to a movie I, I watched on Netflix. It had Muay Thai in it. It's a new film. It's called Only God Forgives. And, oh, it's uh, with Ryan, Ryan uh, what's his name? Not Reynolds, but Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Exactly. Like, and is it, uh, good? It, it is actually very cool. It's a really is cool it? movie. It's a very kick butt movie, and it starts off with some great movie tie scenes. And, I'm and guys, watch. I ducked it because it kind of looked cheesy. And no, nah, like, you'll like it. Straight to video, you know, yeah. you got a star like that in a movie that goes straight to video. You know, it just throws question marks on my radar. No, you'll 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 like it. It's got some subtitles in it. I think that's my, maybe why it went uh, straight to video. So if you can sit through that, you should be fine. And, and and speaking of subtitles, or if you like to read things on your phones, you can follow Lion Fight Promotions on Twitter at Lion. Lion Fight. You can also follow our man over here, Scott, at Scott LFP. The MMA Fight Corner.